<laughs> <laughs> it's windy out there, and that's what's making it very chilly outside. Take a look at our wind gusts right now. They're still clocking in in the 30s and 20s, especially our far north and western neighborhoods. And even along I-95, sustained winds are coming in closer to 15 miles an hour. But take a look at Trenton. Right now, you're clocking in wind gusts closer to 22 miles an hour. And this relentless northwest wind is what's going to keep the chill in the air all day long. In fact, we're already about 15 degrees colder at this time compared to yesterday. Take a look at the next 12 hours, though. At least we will see sunshine. We're tracking clear skies out there, and that'll be the case for the rest of the day. 9 a.m. shows temperatures climbing to 37. Sunny, brisk, cold. By noon, we're at 41, feeling more like 32. And by the time we head towards 3 o'clock, it'll be 43 degrees, feeling more like 36 degrees during the height of the afternoon. So with that being said, just take the heaviest winter coat you have, bundle up, and get all the Fixins. I'm talking scarves, a hat, your gloves. We do it all over again on Friday, but at least Friday, Chandler, we lose the wind, so it'll feel a little bit better. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the weather because, yeah, I trade spaces with uh, Megan any day. Yeah, yeah. Family drama and all. Sign <laughs> me up. <laughs> uh, it's a bit cloudy if you t if you take a look at this live camera. This is actually a nice live pic. Jack Frost, big boulder up in the Poconos. A nice sunny day with a few high clouds out there. Not too bad, but it certainly looks cold, and it is. Temperatures up there are running about 13 degrees colder at this hour compared to where we were just yesterday. And the same holds true region wide. It's just a chilly, brisk start to our Thursday. Temps are going to be sitting in the low 40s here as we approach the height of the afternoon. But with that hearty breeze, it'll feel m more like 36 by the time we hit 3 o'clock. Lots of sunshine. You, uh, you see it out there. We're going to continue to see those clear skies straight on through the afternoon. And into the evening we go, and the clear skies continue. Winds will gradually diminish. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at wind. Gus, this is 4:30 this afternoon evening, and you can see those winds are still quite blustery. But when we move the clock forward, they do begin to die down, and that's certainly going to feel. It's going to make all of the difference as we round out the work week tomorrow, Friday. You can see by tomorrow morning, these winds are generally calm, and we'll notice that tonight. Those winds diminish. It'll be clear, cold, and quiet, with temperatures bottoming out at just 28 degrees. So another chilly night expected across the Delaware and the Lehigh Valleys. We round out the work week with lots of sunshine, less wind, and those temperatures climbing to around 49. So right near average, right where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. And then look what happens as we approach the start of the weekend. We're going to have another cold front move through. This is going to bring a southwesterly flow. These numbers once again come shooting up. We'll hit a high of around 60 Saturday afternoon, but that will be accompanied with a sturdy breeze in addition to showers, particularly in the morning with a lingering shower possible as we approach the afternoon, but it's not going to be a complete washout of a day. We're drier for Saturday night. It'll give way to a colder Sunday. And if you're heading down to the link on Sunday, a quick peek at the forecast by kickoff, which is 1 o'clock, 41 degrees. By halftime, we're at 42. Fourth quarter, 42. And then notice what happens Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week could feature rain.